Alright. Oh. Okay, so look, I just yawned, right? And now I'm not blinking my eye, but it's like I can see like where the water is like causing like blurriness on my eyes. This is gonna be crazy to some, but I don't care. This is what's happening. And I kinda whenever that happens, whenever I have like I probably have like astigmatism. But that's not what this is. It's just the actual water out of my eyes, this actual physical component was covering my perception, right? To where I then, my brain, I was like, yeah, I'm looking at my eye. I'm looking at this water being in front of my eye, but also it's not obstructing. Oh. I feel like every time I stop and try to like make it make sense, it gets worse. So basically what I'm just saying is, in that moment right there, I was like, wow, I am the one viewing my life. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to turn on the camera because that's some of my best work when I just turn on the camera and I just dip into a stream of consciousness and I talk about how we're all just being aware of our life and right now I'm very much aware of my life I'm aware of the things that I'm doing but now where I am it's asking me to just create I feel best when I'm creating I feel best when I'm just on the camera fucking waking up looking I love beanies my hair is not done I would much rather have my hair done but also this is me I love just talking I just talking about the things that I'm doing because the things that I'm doing is life is the life experience right the things that I'm doing is figuring out about consciousness I'm reading 80 different books at the same time sometimes I'm also just sitting down sitting on Twitter scrolling sometimes I'm reading about science and I'm doing my my uh research work but they come in blurbs depending on what I'm doing in that moment sometimes I'm helping other people with their life but it's not all of who I am until I do something like this this stuff feels real real to me when I am not trying to edit myself into anything and this is new for me because I've tried a lot of things I've tried damn near everything I've witnessed myself do a lot of stuff I've put myself into lots of different experiences even though I'm 24 years old only I've seen a lot of stuff but I've always been up for the experience I've done things and then I've taken the knowledge turned it into intelligence and now here I am being asked to experience Imani being asked to experience who I am and I'm having difficulty because I've never had full responsibility for my own life not that I've never had full responsibility it's just you know always worrying about other people's perceptions of me and not even always I yeah always and it's not like you know oh what are they going to think about me? it's just like I want to make sure that I'm packaged and pretty so that I come across correctly but what it is is the 12th house in, in astrology rules uh, hidden aspects things hidden from your own subconscious from your own conscious I have Venus in the 12th house other people's perceptions of me are always going to be different and if I'm not being my true self then their perception of me is this uh is only an essence of me when they meet me technically because i'm only an essence of my truth as well so if i'm not being truthful to my essence imagine the essence that they're getting i can't be mad at somebody for not understanding me so here i am now just who i am and this is new and i i keep wanting to stop this like oh i have to have come sometimes i don't know how this content is going to start i just have this idea in my head and honestly the idea in my head 
is for this video that I want to make. I basically want to just tell y'all what I've been doing. What I'm preparing for. I've been reading Stu the, the works of Stuart Edward White. Um, this is the one I'm on now, the Betty book. Uh, I actually just started. I've had the book for a long time, but I've been telling everybody that what I'm doing is uh, I want it to give my brain. Um, I, it, it's like I was in preliminary school. Uh, I wanted to. I wanted to give my brain knowledge of um, of what I'm doing. So basically, like the main objective was to develop um, the capacity for understanding, so that it could be better communicated. It's twelve twenty two 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 two, and then it's like I'm preparing myself to then be a system of communication. A channel a better channel and so the Betty book see I feel like I'm getting off topic right now but what I'm learning is some people just want to hear what the fuck I'm doing and this is how I put it out the Betty book is basically about him and his wife now wife and all of her excursions as a medium what it is is and I'm actually gonna read to you what she was doing so they were ba they're basically training her they're training her to um, to facilitate their own observe. That's not what I want to say. They're training Betty in the book to utilize her her mind, body, and soul to basically become a better conductor. But it's not in in a sense that we've all been doing. What I want to do is those trance-like meditative states I've been talking about. What I'm doing is I'm trying to learn how to lessen my density so that I become unaware of my physical reality. Holy shit, that's what it is. I was searching for that word. Let's see, and I was only having difficult with T with that because I didn't, I didn't have the uh, uh, enough expanded consciousness into understanding what it is that I'm really doing. But once I do, once I kind of get it, then I spiral into that stream of consciousness. But um, the idea here is to, yes, learn how to lessen uh, my density. And I want to read to you this part in the book. It says, um, Betty was to be fitted for an introduction into the realities of another consciousness. That of these invisible consciousness. That of these invisible. Uh, so she was to go to them instead of their coming to her. So basically, you know how when we're like, yeah, I'm channeling higher self, blah, blah, blah. When I say I'm going, I would like to train myself into going into trance like meditative states. What I want to do is I want to go to the angels. I want to go to the, the Jesus. I want to, Jesus. I want to go to the intangible planes of existence through the trance-like meditative states. So think about it like a psychedelic experience, but like minus the psychedelics, I'm doing it all throughout meditation to where I'm, you know, going on a trip, but I completely am taking my consciousness out of my body and I'm literally visiting other intangible planes of existence, the unobstructed universe. There you go, that's what it is. Um, it was described as a lessening, lessening of density, a change of specific gravity. The matter was more complicated than that, but the statement expresses the gist of it. Basic com concepts were to be added to hers. New perceptions were to be developed. In a world, in a word, in a word, her equipment was being expanded. So, um, I and I just started reading this. But that's why you know I'm a little fumbling over, but um, the idea here is, you know, once I start reading it, by the time I get to the end of this one, I want to have a good uh, mechanism for going into those trance-like meditative states and then actually building a system of communication with the intangible planes of existence, with the intangible entities. 
Um, so angels, whether it be angels, my guardian angel, ancestors. Um, and then something that I often do, these books were written back in like 1940s, but something that I do is uh, I call, I literally just be like, hey, uh, I call upon Stuart and Betty uh, White, Stuart, Betty, not Betty White, but you know, uh, Stuart and Edward. I call upon them, even though they've passed away. It's like I call upon them and their consciousness is what helps me understand the books faster, uh, better, um, to where, you know, it just clicks, but I have to put in the action, right? So after that, um, after I read the Betty book, I'm actually I'm excited. So yesterday, so I'm going to show you. This is my um, bookcase, okay? And a long time ago, during one of my other, um, the lighting sucks, but I also don't want to show off my altar. It doesn't matter. Um, so a long time ago, during one of my psychedelic experiences, one of the first ones, like, uh, they, not one of the first ones, but one of my psychedelic experiences, they basically told me that uh, all, of, all of the books that I have here are going to help me get to the Nobel Prize, right? And it wasn't until yesterday that I had the aha moment um, to where I was like, okay, um, you know, we're basically here. We're in that moment. So I wanted to show you uh, what, basically what I did yesterday was I sat and I was talking to my higher self and I was like, what are the books like let's prepare for it so what i'm gonna do is it's these books it's these ones right here and with this one sometimes well actually no yeah all of these okay so um i think i feel best when i'm not trying to be someone that I'm not. This literally just is me. I'm just, I, this is me. Uh, so these are all of the books, and I'm going to just tell you <laughs> the idea that we got. Okay, so um, the Parallel Worlds, I, I read Parallel Worlds. I read, honestly, I've read most of these, just not like in, in depth, uh, except for Parallel Worlds. Um, but like I've skimmed through, not skimmed through, I really have read them. It's just now I'm going to really go back knee deep into them. So Parallel Worlds, I'm going to uh, go back and just uh, use my um, connection with divinity. So something that I do the way that I pull messages when I give readings or energy readings or anything, what I do is I'm just like, okay, what's a message that I need to know right now? Like I could sit here and ask, like, what's something cool that I could tell, you know, the people right here? Like just put my hand on him. Uh, Imagine a fish swimming in a shallow... That's crazy that I came to this exact spot. Not crazy, but this is the part that really changed my, my, my life. Actually, that's really crazy. Because this had me thinking differently. Imagine fish swimming in a shallow pond just below the illy pads, thinking that this is the exact same page that really sparked everything in me. Oh, Wow, and you see what I did was I set the intention and I opened the book. So anytime I have an intention, because of my connection with divinity, God, the universe, my higher self, my spirit team, because that's so strong, um, I'm able to then build my scientific theory just by doing that. Like I don't have to read all of the books. A lot of the books, you know, like I can sit here and read them, but sometimes it's like I, I don't have enough time. Not that I don't have enough time, it's just like time is valuable. So I utilize spirit to help me uh, filter out the things that I don't need. Um, so this part that I opened up to is the exact same spot. The very first spot that I picked up when I first picked this book. Um, that's amazing. Um, imagine a fish swimming in a shallow pond just below the lily pads, thinking that their universe is only two-dimensional. Our three-dimensional world may be beyond their kin, but there is a way in which they can detect the presence of the third dimension. If it rains, they can clearly see the shadows of ripples traveling along the surface of the pond. Similarly, we cannot see the fifth dimension, but ripples in the fifth dimension appear to us as light. Um, Kalza's theory was a beautiful and profound revelation con concerning the power of symmetry. symmetry. It was later shown that if we add more dimensions to Einstein's old theory and make them vibrate, then these higher dimensional vibrations reproduce the W and Z bosons and glutons glutens found in the weak and strong nuclear forces if the program okay i'm gonna 
I'm not gonna keep going on, but this is basically how um, I'm able to read, like, the book is so dirty. Uh, anyway, I get so excited. <laughs> um, parallel worlds here, uh, then I'm gonna go into hyperspace. I have read, there's like really old, but um, this is the author that I wanted to see at the convention. Someone actually did send me um, $1,500 to go to the event, but I missed it. Um, but that money was, ended up helping me pay my bills because, you know, I'm broke out here doing this. Like, I'm literally putting my full heart into trying to, not trying to, into earning this Nobel Prize, you know, raising the greater conscious. And my part is a scientific part to where, you know, I don't have a job that pays me for this. So it's like, you know, I, that's really what it is. And I get a little worried sometimes because what I really want to do is this, but it does require time. And I refuse to go back to go get a job. So like, um, I know like a lot of people, you know, sometimes I have good moments, but bro, I'm out here pre-rich, broke. I don't want to say broke, but I'm pre-rich, bro, because I see value in this. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to look at hyperspace. I'm basically going to go through... Um, these books and all of these books will give me a good foundation not a foundation these will actually give me all of the words that are going to expand my consciousness and then i'm going to go into a very strong psychedelic experience um and then out of that write a paper and then just try to get it out into uh, the world i need to be um i need to be uh, to, to earn a Nobel prize a physics Nobel prize you have to be recommended by a member of um a high member of the scientific uh, team. So that's why I really wanted to try to get into Roger Penrose's energetic bubble because, uh, and I know it won't happen until I, I really put in the work and you know, this is me doing so and those moments will align and those moments will come when they are in the present moment because things can only be created in the present moment. And so in the present moment, I am responsible for this. This is my job in reading. Right now, we are just on the Betty book because, again, I'm going to learn. I'm going to have the science behind it, but because it's just me and because I don't have a degree or anything right now, um, my degree is essentially in going to school in the intangible planes of existence. Um, this basically is just going to have me... Str I feel like I'm repeating myself, but maybe I'm just reading telling myself i don't know um anyway um yeah so hyperspace parallel worlds hyperspace uh einstein's unfinished revolution and then the god equation i am told that i have to read this book in its entirety uh which i'm not a problem <laughs> but basically the god equation uh my again my favorite author the same one for these ones he basically took he doing his own research took all of it in basically all of these uh, informations, Einstein's, um, Newton, all of the things before me, it's all wrapped up into one. So after I've done this, I will then re prepare myself for the trip, which is this, this is book, uh, Psychedelic Consciousness, Plant Intelligence. I've, um, skimmed through and read through a bunch of pieces. I have this book marked here. I haven't booked it up in a while, but there must be, you know, navigational tools it's just the history of psychedelics because when i do talk this is going to be an easy read uh when i do talk about um psychedelic my experience through psychedelics on paper uh for the theory it does need to be backed behind um it needs to not just be like oh yeah i did drugs and i know the entire world you know uh, then we're going to go into the pathway path of energy because this is basically going to help me to explain how uh, the psychedelic experience is um, just, you know, an energetic freeway, essentially, or the psychedelic experience is going to have me give give me the experience um, of how the path of energies work. And then after that, I'm going to read the mathematical theory of communication, which was the final book to my collection. Uh, this one, it, I've seen, it's, you know, like there's coding and everything here, but uh, after doing this, um, sorry, sorry, the way that I got this book, sorry, not sorry, the way that I got this book was through um, some guy on TikTok. If you've been following my TikTok, you know that this really had my next aha moment in understanding how energy has been moving and how consciousness actually evolves. And it is through people learning um, and building uh, better systems of communication. Wow. 
because it is up to the people of Earth. Excuse me. It is up to the people of this plane of existence to... Um, To push forward the change so this is my part in the global conscious awakening and uh, it just so happens that this um, my goal my aspiration is to earn a Nobel Prize because at the end of the day change does have to have some sort of law put into place and um, I know everybody's doing lots of different things and people are all like did you read this book I know exactly what books I need to do I've been on this journey for a really long time so it's really cool to see uh, everything just come into play um, I do worry sometimes like you know reading these books not actually I don't worry it's just it's crazy to see how it's gonna play out because when people are earning Nobel prizes like you honestly have to have money for your research and it's not that I need money for my research it's just I would like money to um, just be able to sit on my ass and just read these books and I know that in doing so in continuing to do so and share that I'm gonna be okay I just saw a bird that's confirmation for me so I know that as long as I keep pushing uh, forward I'm gonna be fine uh, sometimes these videos that I make are just it's like um, affirmations for myself so here I am we got one well I read these ones but one two three four five six seven eight there's eight books technically nine I could well technically ten but there's ten books that ten is the number of completion cycle com Wow um yeah, I just want to say right here now, uh, regardless of if they're alive or not, but Stuart Edward White and Betty um, White really, really showcased what, not showcased, but really became an inspiration for me because especially with just starting this Betty book, I want to, I'll end this video here. Um, they said, we had it as I see one comp, we had it, as I see, one commanding advantage over average experience. They basically started this experience by checking out a Ouija board, but they're not into, you know, all that stuff. But they were just like, how does this work? What is the mechani mechanisms of this? Like, what is the logical reasoning behind it? And that's how I started all of this stuff. When it came to the spiritual experience, I always had a science mindset first to where I was like, when it came to spirituality, after doing a psychedelic experience, I was like, what is the logical reason behind this? I was like, there's something here. Um, it says, we we had it as we see it, one commanding advantage over average experience. We, neither of us approached all of this from an emotional angle. Our interest was of exploration. We wanted to find out if we could, what it was all about and why. Um, and that is my intention for starting all of this. And I am happy and and almost relieved sometimes like that this really is me in the moment to where you know I started off my entire little career little it's not little um I started this off not really understanding what I was getting into but um here I am and it's just making sense the more that I keep pushing forward to where you know I guess I'm sitting here with the this video's 23 minutes um I don't know, I'm just really excited, and I think I'm more so excited because it felt good to just share that without um, watering myself down. Uh, yeah, so that's me, and I uh, really in, hope you guys enjoy the journey uh, for this new season. We've got all of the, the things, like it's no more piecing together, the, or it's no more collecting things for the journey now. Now here we are, and the journey, or the process towards that, this next result uh, is into full play, full effect. Yeah. Thanks for listening.